Welcome back to PJ 8-Bit. My name is James, and this is a Peyton. Hello, my PB and J sandwiches. Now, Peyton uh, has done us the favor of getting a little back into this one again, and getting past the roadblock that we hit last time. Peyton, do you mind explaining what ha what the hell you've done and what where, where we're at here? Yeah. Um. So, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I actually had to to watch a bit of a tutorial on this. So, shout out to Lady Luck on YouTube. Um, for for showing us us bum bums how to find things. Yeah, so we were, <laughs> you know, when last time I was like, it's the insurance. Well, you got to get there a little quicker than I got there. I got there like with a minute left. Um, uh, the tutorial showed how to get there with seven minutes left. So what you have to do is you barely talk to Tab and the security guy. The only thing information you need from Tab and the security guy is how the security system works. Worse. So Tab suggests that there is a back door installed into the security system. You talk to security buddy boy and he says that that's possible, but he never put in a back door when he first put it in. He suggests that it was put in after. Which this guy is running the whole thing, and he literally does say at one point, "Oh, I always have a, always have a, a, a what's it called, escape route, escape plan." Yes, yes, yeah, and that's where I was that. going with this. Okay. So Aaron King, which is this little douche that's smiling at me right now, <laughs> this little douche put in a back door. So he says, "Hmm, this is between us, friend." But of course, I install a private access back door on my phone. It's more secure than the factory one anyway, and I paid top dollar for it. So he admitted yeah, it. to so putting he... in that back door, which means that he has the um, how'd you get him to say that? Or sorry, how'd you get him to say this though? Uh, okay, so what you have to do is to get him to get there, you have to bring it up in the beginning and then he'll say, oh, I don't know, maybe like he, he kind of shrugs it off. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, okay, so you go through the questions with him um, talking about his business. So you talk up his you business. You talk him up. So you basically talk him up of like, hey, man, you good business dude. Business dude, and he basically friends you. Uh, well, you just it? ask him about his business strategy and he talks about needing a way out. And then he brings uh, up. So he likes talking about business, and you got him through just talking about business. He like because he likes talking about it. Yeah, and okay. I talk about how he kind of put all of his eggs in this one basket, which was the factory. Mm. Um, and he goes, "Well, always have an exit strategy." And then when you kind of question him on, like, what do you mean by an exit strategy? He kind of skates around the idea of, you know, the um, he's got some government backing, and he's got a shit ton of insurance. So if the factory, let's say, did blow today, mm -hmm. he would he wouldn't lose any money. Yeah, no, that sounds about right. Let's move forward. Now I think that all makes sense. It just sounds like based on what you told me that you just this guy's. I mean, if you juice him up of like, hey, you're a good businessman, man. You know, you know your stuff. How you how you doing all this? And he's like, hey, well, my secret to back door. So I feel thing, like it's what you did with the guy. Am the I wrong? thing that we have with this guy is we have the modus operandi, or we have the method, like how he could potentially do this. Yeah. We don't have a motive though. We don't have. Yeah, we do. Money. Well, we need him to say it though, right? Okay. We can read between the lines. Like we gotta get him to we say need it. The out loud. whole point of interrogation say... is to have it on tape. Yeah, you're yeah. right. It's so. Good point. Even the hint says, Aaron King and me, he had a back door installed. This gives us beans, but we still don't have a, a motive. motive. You're right. You need to find out if he would have anything to gain by blowing up the factory. Okay, okay. So that's what we really got to do. Um, so so why, yeah. why did you keep this a secret from your security team? They raised their voice. I'd rather hear the end of it if they knew. It's my property to do with it as I wish. Uh, who else knows of this back door? They smile slightly. No one, just you and me. I'd rather much appreciate it if you kept it so, my friend. Uh, why do you need this level of access? They shrug. I enjoyed uh, connecting remotely to the cameras and keeping an eye on the place, you know, like some people do at home. I don't really like that to begin with, though. I'm not a big fan of the cameras. So you admit to having your own special door to access the security main fate? They nod quickly. Yes, my friend, I do. For convenience sake, you see? Okay. His heart rate's going up. I mean, his heart rate go a little up for convenience. Convenience sake, of course. Because uh, he didn't want to give you the reason. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And not quickly. Uh -huh. You're trying to get the reason. 
I'm trying to get the reason. What's your reason, bud? What's your rationale? I wish I could put like a frying pan in the game. Just get this guy in the frying pan so we just grill him. Because we know it's him. What if I go this way? What if I talk about asking for his contingency plan? I don't know what that means. I'm sorry to be stupid, but... I oh, don't... his backup plan. Oh, yeah. Um... That could give him a loop. But I don't like the way it's phrased. Hmm. Yeah, one second here. I'm trying to. Is it dangerous? How much do you keep? Because he's. Okay, so you've gotten him to open. Now you're making him nervous. I'd be making him more nervous. Because that seems to be what's changing. You know, you want more of a change in just yeah, one point. Yeah, he is pretty up. open here. You want, he could be more open, but he's, you want him to get more nervous. He's, he was pretty relaxed the whole time. Yeah, but how I got him there was he, he thinks I'm friend. Yeah, I am friend, point. not foe. Because the key with these guys, if you want to use not enhanced interrogation, mm -hmm. well, I guess, yeah, you're right. There is a point where you kind of have to switch up your game. I know. that The, the, the challenge is knowing when to do that. Cause, yeah. Because if you don't do it at the right time, you th you, threw, you you lose everything. Yeah, you kind of want to be able to switch the game. It's got, you got to checkmate him. Yeah. Checkmate It's kind of like, I feel like the openness is like you have your pawns on one side of the board, right? And then you have your knights and then the, the anxiety at the top, the heartbeat, yeah. is the knights on the other side. You're trying to surround them. Yeah. Slowly but surely. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to figure out. So we know that nobody knows about the back door but him. We know that, mm -hmm. or we can guess that he's after this security money, right? Well, didn't you say that though? He's literally- I thought he said in our last playthrough that he won't hit insurance. He did, yeah. He didn't say that he was... Yeah, you said that. Yeah. Let me see here. Let's try it. Let's, I go for it. I agree with it. Because it's- it, come on, you're, you're just saying like, yo, like what- How does this whole business operate? Come on. He see, might- he, a lot, the worst he'll do is be like, that's my secret. I guess. Yeah, I kind of wish he was more open. Yeah, I kind of agree with you. Three is strong, but not super strong. It's like in the middle. It's, it's okay. It's pretty good. It's not amazingly open. But some people have different personalities, so you might not get him super open. True. You know? Alright, let's try- I'm gonna- I'm gonna try... I know, we're trying to play so close Wait. to chess here, because we don't want to do this like a fucking okay. third time. Yeah, let's- okay, let's- let's do it. Let's hey, do smile. it. Sorry. I will call upon favors to gather money and pay for repairs. A real businessman has many avenues. Okay. I don't think it has to do with a PR miracle. I think that that's a jumping conclusion. Yeah, I agree. Um, let's talk about something else. Hmm. I, I think this guy would spill it a bit more based on being a buddy buddy than than a than being threatened by somebody because he's got a lot of money and power right they stop ah, here we go so your factory's insured does that insurance cover terrorist attacks they not absolutely there's a whole insurance industry focused on weapons manufacturers or military contractors okay so he's admitting that he's getting insurance from this Okay. But. Okay. Oh, so the bottom one's challenging him. Like, you know, wouldn't that still be bad for you, though? Isn't that bad? You know? Even if you get insurance money, I'm sure yeah. it's still hard to see something you built up mm. crumble like this. Yeah, that's an interesting one, because you're kind of saying, strange. like, you're, you're, not, you're not threatening him. You're just kind of going, like, but it doesn't make sense, man. Isn't that bad? Isn't this not good? And then he might share it if he's buddy buddy enough with you. You know what I mean? Is he buddy buddy enough? With I don't you? know. It's really strange. He is near the ends. Can you hold your mouse over that again? A rough indication of how relaxed. Okay, yeah, just tell it's us. It's just what it explaining is. what it I is. I thought it might be saying in words how relaxed he is. You know what uh -huh. I mean? But no, okay. I'm glad you will at least be able to rebuild if we don't suck. 
you know, stories of restaurant owners burning their own joints and sure is right, pretty common. I wouldn't do that because that's threatening him. I would do the bottom one. Yeah. Because it's, fr- it's, it's like, just open up the question. They smile. It is the way it is. We rebuild. We will recover. We will prosper once more, I say. He's more open. Aaron King had a back dollar installed and his factories insured. Try to confront him of this and see how he reacts. Oh, uh, now he's telling you to challenge him. But oh, he's, yeah, he's actually go. got more open the last time. I'm not sure if you noticed Oh, that. okay. So, yeah. So, okay, that so was still a good move. So, you had the means to do this as well as the coverage of your insurance policy. You did this. Admit it. They lower their gaze. Fine, fine. Stop pestering me. I did this and what's done is done. No matter that you choose to do to me or uh, what you choose to do to me, the world will see that the Liberation Front has... What? Why? What? what? Shut. I just... What? What? I'm confused too. Um... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. No, like, no, no, honestly, hold on. what? Hold on. Um, I'm trying to understand this too. Fine, fine, stop pestering me. I did this, and what's done is done. No matter what you choose to do to me, the world will see that the Liberation Front has. Are you cutting him off? I guess you're trying to cut him off. Why would you cut him off? Okay, I don't want to make this about me. I don't want to shut, shut him, him up. up. Just say but. Just say but. I'm going to say but. But. Yeah, there we go. So you're continuing a sentence. Yeah. That's what you're doing. Uh, the voice is, the voice rises as they speak, gesturing wildly. Oh, it okay. has the ability to strike deeply at what was once seemed untouchable. A radical message that will finally tip the scales and set the motion in the... Okay, I understand. Oh, he's just gonna go. They say loudly, eyes wide and fixed on you. The unstoppable force of social upheaval. Sacrifices must be made for the benefit of the new order, and the short-term losers are acceptable for. Okay, I'm gonna try to understand him, because this one says I'm gonna put you in jail forever, and this one says fuck this ideology bullshit, but we already know that the ideology is what pushes this group, so if we say yeah. fuck this ideology bullshit, We're not- they're gonna be like, fuck you pig, you don't fucking understand, so I'm gonna try to be like empathetic, like, I understand yeah. where you're coming from, yeah. but trust me, this place exploding is only gonna do more harm than good. They look at you, smirking eyes widely. No, I won't fall for this. What could you possibly know about the front, let alone what's good and bad for you? So this is what... So I think this is where you have to... Uh, show him you understand where they're coming from now. Because now you're trying to convince him okay. that this is bad, and then he'll give you more information. So you gotta get him on your side. That's So how... Aaron admitted he is part of the Liberation Front, but says he doesn't want to stop the explosion. Mm-hmm. You need to trick him into believing it's his own interest to do so. Ah, okay. What's that one? Don't you think even the lib- Utopia Liberation Front wants to build the more charismatic will, s- will still be able to gain power by manipulating the collective? He- um, that's interesting. Don't you think that even the Utopia that the Liberation Front wants to build the ones that accumulate massive wealth will be able to block and competition clock the market? That's that one he would, he would pay attention to. Yeah, that would. Don't you think the Utopia Liberation Front wants to build the powerful he ones? Care. Yeah, I see the I see the business one. I'm going to go the business room. Whoa. His heart rate went up. They hesitate with some worry and end up blocking me from doing my business instead of freeing it. Oh my. Oh. Oh, interesting. You got him. And he's more open too, by the way. That was a good move. What do you hope to accomplish with that explosion? He smiled. That's the beauty of symbolism, my friend. It can mean anything. I think it's a protest against the government and its practices when dealing with the military. Okay. Uh, that shared quite a bit of where he also stands regarding that that philosophy as well. This is a good one, eh? Someone's making us think quite a bit. I must create this demand for weapons. So, okay, so okay. the first one, sorry, I was just reading them to myself. Go for it. First one is saying, like, the government might be buying weapons, but you're the one selling them, so basically you're equally guilty. This one says, we all know, oh, Oh, oligarchs like you keep the politicians in their pockets. Um, if the government is corrupt, it's because of people like you. Or the government has created this demand for weapons and complex artificially to keep people dependent and obedient. So wait a minute. So can you go back to the little eye, little info thing? I'm just trying to get an idea what the point we is. We gotta here. try to trick him. 
to, to what though? I'm trying to find stop out. the explosion. But it's already happened, hasn't it? Oh, oh no, we're trying to stop it right now. That's right, we're done. I'm done. Sorry. So he says he doesn't want to stop the explosion. We need to trick him into believing that's his <coughs> Pardon me. to do so. So we have to kind of play a head game here. Yeah. And it's we're kind. It's kind of working because we talked about the free market thing, right? The government might still be buying, but you're selling the weapons. I think the guild is split here. That one's pretty reasonable to me, the top one. I'm gonna keep reading the other ones. It's not there. gonna help us. I know, because you need to be stronger than that. That's the problem with that. It's reasonable, but it's not strong. Yeah. It's not gonna make him scared. No. We all know, like, you keep politicians in their pockets. If the government is corrupt, it's because you're. So that's really pointing the finger directly at him. Yeah. And then the government's created the demand for weapons and, um, and conflict are to keep people. So that's just kind of blaming the government. He's not even. So I think the, the middle one is the one that points the finger at him. No? The middle one, to me, is the one that's pointing the finger directly at him. Whereas yes. the top one's kind of like we're half and halfing, the bottom one's kind of like, okay, it's the government. What I'm, I'm thinking of either the first or third. Really? Why? Uh, Because you just right. said that you gotta challenge him, right? But you have to trick him, not challenge, challenge him. Challenge him. Ah. That's the key to- oh, shut up, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to think and the cat's like, ah, and everyone's <laughs> running around in a circle. I just can't He's, he's right in now. hunting mode. Okay, I actually agree with you. If you want to trick him, then I will get him uh, still talking, which is the first one, because you're going- the guilt split here. You're not- you're, you're still part of the problem. Maybe- I mean, you're not saying the government's not part of the problem, but you're saying that you're part of the problem, too. That's what I would- that's what I would vote for. Oh, here we go. His heart rate went up. We're doing well. Oh, okay. he's, look at him now. He's scared. Look at him. Yeah. Look at him. They smile. And what is there to be guilty of? An illegal, transparent exchange approved by politicians that the people put in power through a fair democratic vote? Oh. Uh, we, uh, they, so what did you just say there, sorry? Uh, what, sorry, let's discuss your involvement with the Liberation Front. I was just trying to get back oh, to shit. that same, because he booted me out. I was the, trying to get back to that gotcha. same conversation. Gotcha, they not. We might as well, the die is cast anyway, as they say. So, you really believe this will make people angry at the government? They smile. Well, with all the discussion it will cause, it will be the only logical conclusion. <laughs> not necessarily, man. Business people are not necessarily seen very highly all the time, too. I'm gonna play the Lady Luck card because this is stupid. This is just saying that you'll be seen as a psychopath like Linda Bailey. But if I say Lady Luck, violence uh, invites interpretation and judgment. I think that's what Ah, I'm yeah, because you're, you're trying to poke holes. Yeah. Their eyes move around the room as they shake their head. You, you read Lady Luck? People are smart enough, they will interpret this correctly. Most people are not, though, man. Aaron seems to be concerned with sacrifice he was making. Try to use this to the advantage. Nice, okay. okay. What is he sacrificing? He's sacrificing um, his company looking safe and secure. I'd say. Right? What would you say? He's sacrificing his own company for the sake of the Liberation Front's movement. Yeah, he's using oh, money. You're right. Money is what he'll be more concerned yeah. about. Uh, mm. Yeah, okay. Um, hmm. What if we move to like a symbolism thing? <laughs> or is that, do you think, too roundabouty? I don't know. Because he did kind of end that argument on symbolism. He didn't really explain it. He didn't really kind of mm -hmm. open that up. They stay with a slight smile on their face. That's the beauty of symbolism, my friend. It can mean anything. That's just without words are vague enough so to be spun in the right way. Okay. By who, though? But that's the thing, you're saying it's vague enough. People can still point a finger at you, though. Um, we need something, I guess we need a reason to point out that someone might point a finger at him, though. What reason would you say would point a finger at him? Did you get the explosives off the black market? They chuckle. It would be a special kind of numbskull to pay for explosives to destroy his own property. Oh, that's not looking uh, good, man. You work okay. on the black market. I wondered that. Well, he's not going to the black market, he's using his own explosives. So he really is putting himself in the in the power. He's putting himself on the line. Sorry for this 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 group. Yeah, because he took his own explosives and he used it on his own building. Yeah, that's looking pretty bad. So like you can get traced back to you. Yeah. Five minutes. Sorry, what was the hint again? Yeah, Aaron seems to be concerned with the sector, but Yeah, okay, we know. Try to use this. Well, it's the sacrifice. Sacrifice he's making as he looks bad, right? He, 
he bombed his own building so people find out that they hesitate with some worry I'm trying the bl blocking the competition thing again they end up blocking me from doing uh, my business instead of freeing it oh my so he just said the same thing okay hmm It's getting tricky. So we really aren't supposed to go to the other go other ones at all, the other people, because we're trying to get what is he sacrificed? I guess we kind of know already though. That's the problem. We kind of know it's all on this guy. Shift their in their seat. What'd you say to them? I just want oh, to go yeah, back yeah. to Liberation Front. Oh yeah, okay. I'm kind of like f trying to think how I can talk about his sacrifice. Like I'm, I'm kind of going back and forth. What is that? I'm still kind of confused what a sacrifice really is. His factory, his money, everything. He's getting money. He's getting insurance. He's not sacrificing money. He's sacrificing um, how he looks in the his his uh, persona in the public. Oh, okay. That's what he's sacrificing. Okay. Possibly if someone points the finger right finger at him. Uh, Personal, then maybe. How's he look in the public eye right now? That's what I'd be. Yeah. I'd be talking up like, oh, you look pretty good. Yeah, people like you. Well, what if people find out you bombed it, though? That's what I do. If, if the dialogue allows you to do that. Mm, this is hard. Shit, I'm wasting time by going on all these different categories. I just don't know. I'm looking for a specific thread. I'm actually looking yeah. for the thread yeah. that we got the last time when we talked about like it being a being um maybe I should ask about being an arms dealer, but I feel like we already got that out of him. He's not content with that. He's doing it for money. Mm. He's definitely the type of guy, it's like, I'll turn up the blind side to it, just so I can make some money. And then when he started pointing that out, he started going like, yeah, well, yeah. government's back, they bought it. It's like, you're selling it, though. Like, we're all part of the problem here. Hmm. Ah, oh, this game's fascinating. It's hard, though, eh? Yeah, just give me a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, sorry, guys. We're just trying to figure this shit out. So, uh, Peyton just... We just kind of touched the walkthrough just to get an idea because we really don't want to do this whole thing over and over again. But we're trying really hard not to give too much away. Just when we're getting really stuck. So what did you find out, Peyton? Okay, so I so said, why target your own factory? Mm -hmm. Yep, and he then he said, says, they lower their gaze. It was the easiest target the front identified. Oh, it's just a, a short-term short -term sacrifice, sacrifice I have to do. Okay, so it says we all we must all struggle if we want to achieve the goal of toppling the broken order. People are easy to tell others to tear something down when they haven't built it themselves, haven't they? That could be interesting. Uh, you've been fooled. That's kind of stupid. I'm gonna try to play head. So what is it? Though. Yeah, just read read it read it out when you say it. Uh, people are easy to tell others to tear something down when they haven't built it themselves, aren't they? Ooh, they sigh. Ha! Right on, my friend. That's what I said. I wish there was another way. He's very open. He's on six now, man. So Aaron is not willing to back down. You need to convince him that shutting down the factory is in the best interest of liberation from by any means necessary. Maybe pretend you're on his side. Yeah, I'd say, I told you, buddy, buddy, this guy. This is how you're going to get him to stop. What'd you say so, there? So, King, you have to stop this explosion right now. They shake their head. I really don't see why I would do such a thing. The plan is set in motion. Oh. The front doesn't need uh, this to push its message, King. Remember what Lady Luck would say. They shake their head. Even if you're right, there's no alternative now. It's either this or the front loses another member for nothing. What if there was another way? One that did not involve you having to tear down what you've worked so hard for. They fix their eyes on you. I'm listening, but would, would this other way, what would this other way be? Oh shit. Oh, so you need another way. I need another way. Shit. God damn it. Damn it. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna have to say this because I can't. It's not let gonna that work. Go. It's not. No, I can tell it's not gonna. Well then, why? If that bomb blows up, lose my job, and there won't be able to up the front anymore. They Ooh. tilt the head, head slightly as their eyes fix on you. From where I stand, you losing your job will only help the front. Okay, well, what if my orders come from Lady Luck herself, you fool? She has devised a grander plan, a safer one that doesn't require this explosion. They stutter, barely able to form a coherent sentence. Wh what But you're part, you're part of the Liberation Front? What operation? What are you talking about? Ah, they don't know who and who's who. No, they don't, right? Interesting. Because it's in cells. We know that they're in cells. They're, it's too big and it's, it's all... It's too big, Oh, yeah. shit. They only know what's operating within their own cell. Mm -hmm. So I remember Linda Bailey, the cell that was happening there was her on top mm -hmm. with... Oh my Vasco God, you're playing. was the driver and you're literally, was the... Dude, you're literally fucking recruit. playing them like you're in it. Oh my yeah. God, you're undercover so, cop now. Hell yeah, I'm part of the Liberation Front. I can prove it too. Call Benno Weiss, tell him to leave his uncle's place right now. The police are about to grab him. They slump in their chair, tears forming in their eyes. I... Okay, I, I believe you. I texted Benno to get away. Get me to a computer with access to the internet. Oh, shut the bomb down. Don't let us down. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that, but anyway. So you fucking totally <laughs> manipulated him. Yeah. You totally manipulated yeah. him. Oh my god. And you put him in jail. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't know if I feel about that. Oh, but yeah, no bomb went off. How do you, but Factories. there's no people in there, though. Huh? There's no people in there. Yeah, no, there's no people. It was just... We a didn't scare tactic. Another. We stopped a scare tactic. Pretty much, yeah. Shit. So nobody was going to get hurt. We yeah. already figured that out last time. Good job in there. This guy I don't trust. I think I've said that on the show, but this bitch, I don't trust. Anyway. Okay. No. Before you get to the press release for this one, though, the factory is covered by national security confidentiality rules. The fuck does that mean? Word the press release in such a way that keeps obscured how dangerous things actually got. What? What? The hell? What do you mean? I don't know. I thought you would know more about it. That means me. that's for damn sure. Yeah, but that's very vague. Okay. I guess we have to keep this very diplomatic. In order to address, address public, public concerns, concerns ensure transparency. transparency. Uh, I'm going to say ensure right. transparency. Regarding the police force deployment of several Some squads, squads, a few officers, a piece of civilian special unit. I'm just going to say a few officers. I guess we have to keep... Well, no, I'm going to say peace and stability, especially you, because that's us. That's, yeah. that's what we do. Anyway, go on. Following, Following anonymous tip. Request, request by a concerned employee. employee common, common procedure. procedure. Maybe common procedure. How how would you play this kind of snaky? Because you're trying to be looking like you're, like you're following factory rules and shit, right? Yeah. Common procedure. But if I say an anonymous tip... Yeah, what was the other one after that? Crossed by a concerned employee. That makes it look like... That makes it look like there's something wrong with how people are governing the building, though. Yeah, so I'm gonna say either... Common procedure or... If we're gonna do that, we should do just a few officers if it's common procedure. Yeah, good point. You're starting to look at how things look, work together now. Yeah. Uh, forces arrived at the scene in order to assess if security standards were in order. Investigate potential theft. Escort. So let's just say if security standards were in order. So basically, we're completely right? lying on this one. Because we know we know that they already um, do audits. So we could just say, you know, we sent a few officers out there. It's common procedure. We had to assess the security oh standards. Oh my god, we're totally lying on this one. We usually have been pretty honest. Now we we're completely been. lying. Here. So the press and the public are gonna fucking actually everybody's gonna fucking hate us after this. So you can blame Chief Dickbag Anderson. Anyway. When they arrived at the scene, officers found the factory empty and Aaron King, the CEO, as well as Steve Moroden, Chief of Security, they were contacted in order to clarify the situation. Yep. They explained that the factory was not operational that day as the employees were on vacation, the production lines were under renovation. Uh, let's just say the production lines were under renovation because I think somebody mentioned that, that they were... They yeah. were actually doing some stuff in the factory. This clear case of miscommunication was quickly resolved and the officers left the scene. Oh my god. Uh, we, we asked people to avoid any unfounded panic mongering and seek dialogue with the authorities for any further clarification. Mr. King is being questioned with regards, 
to an unrelated investigation. Mr. King has been arrested in relation to an unrelated investigation. Um, oh, that is really throwing a big fucking wrench right in the middle of everything nice you just said. I think I'm just going to say question with regards to an unrelated investigation. Oh, God, it's just so sleazy. I get it, but oh I my know. God. I don't feel so good about that one. Good. I don't feel good so about that sleazy. one. So sleazy. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, good memories. Good memories. Complex. What's this? You are a, the cure for the plague that is the liberation front. Okay. Ooh. The horsemen of the apocalypse will be will be felled. What the fuck? That's kind of fucked. Double agent. <laughs> liberation front has nothing as things right. They may not do things in the way they should, but they're right about how the world needs fixing. Okay, here's a weird, this is gonna make me sound like a terrorist now, but I kind of agree. To a point. Like, obviously, I don't- I do too. I don't agree with the violence being the way of de dealing with problems, but- Yeah, uh, scholar statistics, who have a deep awareness of statistical likelihoods, and play them well in conversation. Uh, mm -hmm. eh, let's- Okay. Eh. What is gonna- forward. what's selling us? Okay, I'm tired of dishes. I don't know. Oh my god, you're literally wireboring somebody? Oh my god. Nerves of steel, your psyche holds up well when faced with traumatic events. I am an instrument, no more guilty for the action than a scalpel. Oh my god, Holy unstable shit. genius. You're not all there, but the parts that are, are, are away, sorry, wow, I can't read, usually come back with brilliant ideas. So you just have a lot of good ideas. Good ideas. I'm thinking maybe one of these ones, like maybe double. I say double agent. I think double Because you played double agent with that guy. I did. I did. Okay. All right, we got we got to do some budgeting here. Man, this is such a good fucking game, man. Uh, I fucking love this game. It's I can't get over how like well thought through it is all the time, and it's so hard because you really got it makes you kind of really appreciate the good cops that they're the good cops yeah. that are trying to do things right and all the things all the little hoops they got to go through to do things right and in the most moral compass best way. But get the killers, get the group that's causing problems. You know what I mean? There's so many, and then there's just so much ethical questions to ask all the time, damn time. It's part of the job. You get used to it, I guess. I don't know if you do. Makes you think. I, I don't know. I got, I'm sure if, if a cop or, you know, someone that worked, you know, in, in, in the police department or FBI or something, if they sat and played this game, I'd be very curious to hear what their interpretations are of it, what they would say. Which, by the way, guys, if you haven't already, if you've watched our L.A. Noir um, playthroughs, there's a really cool uh, video of actual uh, experts from uh, police forces playing L.A. Noir on YouTube in general. Like, there's another yes. player that does that. And it's really interesting to see what they say when they play the game. Yeah, I'd be, it is. I'd be much more curious to see what they would, they would say playing this game. Though. I would love to see, like, a private investigator a police detective and an FBI profile profiler sorry play mm -hmm. these games like somebody who's been on a special unit somebody who's maybe does more of the psychological end of mm -hmm. investigations and somebody who does more of the private eye game yeah and um is the thing with being a private investigator like there's so much in pop culture that's like cuz i actually oh yeah well from like even even from like like futuristic uh, movies like Blade Runner to like yeah like they're so like oh I'm down to dirty but you actually have to have um, a qualification to be a private investigator like and you, you got to, and you got to play you the have politics to take a just as much as the cops do yeah you got to play yeah. all these games you don't and just, a lot of times a loose cannon a lot of times it is like retired police officers who already know the ins and outs and the red tape that goes into investigations yeah and so you maybe don't necessarily it's kind of like being a private teacher versus a teacher in the board right like mm -hmm. you may not necessarily have all the red tape but you still have to to follow procedure right because you're dealing with the public mm -hmm. so it's very interesting it'd be interesting to see all the differences okay tristan miller we've brought in another reporter for you to talk to <sighs> really miss becker handled the technical the in the last interview i know <laughs> who's this this time miss lisa naguin naguin holst naguin naguin yeah. naguin just naguin New in. There's yes. no G in. No. Um, is looking to write more of a human interest story. A human okay. interest story. I want to learn all about the team members. Sorry, you want to read her voice? I want to learn all about okay. the team that caught the twin bombers. Shall we? Uh, all right, let's fuck go. Off. <laughs> yeah, no. Fuck off. Yeah, <laughs> uh, fuck off. Fuck off. No, we'll do this. All right. 
So I kind of like, like her, her outfit, lo- yeah, actually. She looks, cool. <laughs> she looks pretty, like, pin-up-y, actually, eh? Pretty swag, yeah. yeah all, right, all right, all right, all right, go, go. Are you gonna? So you're um. All right. Do you want me to read? I can read her stuff. You want. Leading this investigation must have put great pressure on you. How have you been handling it? Uh, I'm a professional. Part of my job is handling the pressure of leadership. Uh, no one can be raided for something like this, so I'm adjusting and learning as we go. That's it. Uh, it's been hard, of course, but I've had a great team backing me up. Um. I like the bottom one. I do too. Yeah. Let's let's bring up the team, yo. You, um, you've been the face of this operation. There's a whole team behind you. Okay, she does not talk Let's like talk that. Come to on. Let's talk for a bit. Okay. Yeah. Of course. No, I won't. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll stop the annoying voice. Sorry. <laughs> Jennifer Ray's expert psychologist and criminal profile. What does she bring to the table? Ooh, she's Ooh. awesome, honestly. She's, we got to talk her up. She's yeah, a rock why not? star. She deserves the work. She deserves yeah. the praise, sorry, that she got for her work. Uh, so Jennifer's insight into the criminal mind allows us to predict their movements and to better understand their objectives. When you're dealing with the people we are, it takes a specialist to comprehend the, the disturbed mind, the way their mind works. Jennifer focuses her efforts on building rapport with the people we investigate. Without empathy, there can be no dialogue. I like the first one. I think it's more. Um, yeah, it, I like it, the first and last, but I think the first one is more um, bringing it show, up it her sh- background. Yeah, it shows that she's just good. Yeah. Versus like, oh, she does these things that are great. But she's like, yeah. this one's like, she is great. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay. She's taking some notes, okay. It's all on her phone. Yeah. Well, don't you take notes on your phone? Yeah, I guess it's fair. Uh, Mordecai Fisher, an officer with a long history of fighting organized crime. What's he about? Uh, he's our boots on the ground man, an excellent detective and a better tracker than a bloodhound. That is true. Uh, Mordecai, I usually send him to go do things around the city. Uh, Mordecai has experience with underground criminal organizations and has crucial follow-up on leads and getting results. Mordecai knows uh, what the weak spots in a criminal organization are, and he knows uh, how to use them to our advantage. Keep this in mind, too. The more you say things about people, the more people in the public know who you're sending out for what situations. Keep that in mind, too. True. Yeah. But I know what you mean. He's an excellent detective, better tracker than a bloodhound. So then they'll know that's true, but they might know. I don't know. It depends how you want to play. So you're playing I, the honest card. So. I think uh, I think I'm going to say the bottom one. He knows what the weak spots are and how to use them to our advantage. Because he's really good for talking up um, that yep. kind of stuff. Tab Thompson, analyst and technical expert. What are their skills valuable for? Uh, Tab's very valuable. She's like... He, sorry, they are they're they're just they're so solid. They're so very solid. they're very good yeah. they're very good for following policy and they're also very good for just knowing their stuff. Um uh, analytical skills are very important. Database and files to make sure we don't miss a damn thing. That is tab for sure. Yeah. Uh, knowledge. I say the analytical skills particularly. Oh yeah, I think it's the that, analytical cause, skills because Tab's the one that cracked the database that began this whole mission. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm gonna say the an- I, I agree though, the the sh- uh, they've got some legal knowledge that we just don't have, and so they know how to not waste time. But I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about the databases because we don't want to share that too much. Too yeah, much yeah. About, yeah. Recently, Joseph Ward has joined your team. What can this old dog teach you? Ooh, history repeats itself. I like that one right away. Yeah, I, I agree. History it's- repeats itself, and Joseph has been through a similar situation once. He's the one we turn to when we're stuck. Lucky, nice. What sort of dynamic uh, work? Uh, sorry, what sort of work dynamic do you have? Everyone getting along? Hell yeah, I think so. They weren't a little happy with him, Joseph, coming on the scenes, but we, she doesn't need to know that. Yeah, I uh, and, and they didn't say anything mean. They're just kind of like, oh. I think I like this last one though. We've been we've been through after what we've been through together. I must say we're very close because we do go out with them, right? They trust and respect each other. All that tells the public our weak point, which is that we respect our team, trust our team. If that's a weak point, though, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'd rather die with a bitch. Hey! Die with a motherfucker. Oh, Neat. Neat? You don't I say think neat. that's neat. You stupid. <laughs> Lisa, you fucking... Okay. You just <laughs> had to work fast. Jumping from crisis to crisis. What's your secret? Uh, I like chocolate. I don't let me get... And 80% point. cocoa only, though. That's my secret. <laughs> that actually is our real life secret. How do you cope? We eat a lot of chocolate. Mm. Um, I make sure that we're well prepared. We only have one shot at this. No do-overs. I've learned to trust my instincts and never hesitate. 
I think always being well prepared. Yeah. I think that's my, my if I was to tell people how I uh, have been successful, don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I agree Well with you. prepared is not a bad thing. No, it's actually to me, okay, I'm gonna throw the Duke Ellington quote out there. Yeah. It's a success is about uh not that I'm like a, the right person to talk to you about success. I wouldn't say I'm super successful, but like let's say like um like financially anyways, I would say like we are uh you, you're supposed to being with the right people doing the right thing at the right time the right way in the right context yeah and then there's a little bit of luck and then that's where success ultimately comes from but, but really but all of that's about being prepared though right yeah. doing these things with the right people at the right times you know like yeah things, lisa planning ahead right that's yeah so if you do those things you're setting yourself up for a chance to be lucky and you know do the right you know anyways sorry when you uh, know lives are on the line what keeps you focused sane uh, I take it one day at a time, solve what I have in front of me first. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> like that. I think that's just life. That's life. You just gotta do one thing at a time. One brick at a time. What is your approach when talking to the front members? Uh, I try to understand where they're coming from and show them their mistakes. If their survival instincts kicks in, they become more cooperative. Very... No, no, don't use the With this one question, they quickly start to... I, I think the first one. Yeah. It shows that you're, you're, a, you're a reasonable person. And that's actually how we've been approaching the game. Is she through, fucking I'm, looked at us like, what I you know. Look? Like, fuck you. You know what? Oh, wait, wait, are the right answers the ones, the right, like, quote unquote, the right answers of the game? The ones where she responds with something? I think so, yeah. Have you ever found yourself agreeing with uh, something a front member said? Yeah, of course. Um, I don't want to say that because <laughs> of the press, but because they'll skew that. But. Um... They will fucking of course, that. they're guilty for their actions, not their ideas. Sometimes, yes, it's part of my job to use the most persuasive approach. I think mm. I'm gonna say the bottom one. Sometimes, yes, but I have to use the most persuasive approach. Hmm. Here's the thing, though. The middle one is justifying it, though, the, because it's like they're guilty for their. It's about their actions, not their ideas. And that's that. That sets you. That that really cleanly separates you from them. Because they're acting on those ideas, and that in, in a good way, in a bad way, it's setting you, it's making you very different from liberation front. Which is the bottom one I find is making you what makes you so different from liberation front, right? It grades you with them. Oh, you get what I'm saying? I thought this one kind of grayed it a little bit though. Because you said, of course. Yeah. Where if this is like sometimes yes, but I use that as part of my interrogation technique. Do you know what I mean? Hey man, go with your gut. You're the one. Yeah. You got the mouse. Many of those who've put behind, or you put behind bars, had regular lives before. Do you ever think about that? Uh, no, I think about the crimes and those they've hurt. Yes, and it shows how insidious propaganda can be. Yes, of course, these people are everywhere. Our neighbors, our friends, our family, it worries me. I'd say, I think about the crimes. Yeah. Like, that's my job, is to think about the crimes, not the regular life. Oh, bitch, whatever. Last question. Do you feel uh, proud of what you've accomplished so far? Yeah, I think so. We've done, hard. Good, we've done good work I wanna, here. Bitch, I want to see you fucking do this job. Good luck. Pride has nothing to do with it. Ooh. I like that. Pride has nothing to do with it. <sighs> no? But I want to praise the team. Yes. We've done good work. We've yeah. done good work here. Okay. Well, that's that. Thanks for all this then. All right. How are you going to skew that for us later, uh, I know. lady? Uh, what's this? Hi, jackass. <laughs> I've been protecting you because you're clearly getting results. Okay. Okay. A push come, has come to shove. There's an internal investigation running against you. Excuse Ooh. me? They're currently reviewing documents taking testimonies. Excuse oh. me? Be ready to be interrogated. Oh my god, before this internal investigation's conclusion. Oh my god, we're going to get interrogated. The IA asshole running it seems dead set on burying you, so be careful. Excuse me? Who? IA? Who's IA? How dare you? Internal. Like an internal agent. Uh, so we're headed. So you're saying that one of these people is working against us, most likely? No, it's not our team. It's somebody else in the the big oh. grand scheme of things. Somebody uh, above us is not happy with us. Somebody above us? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, let's go. I need to fucking get a drink because I'm being interrogated. This is the police job, though. Fuck you. Yeah, but this is it. Though. I know. I know it is. This is the damn job. I Everybody know. hates you. We are trying to be good. I have one for you, fearless leader. Oh, no. ah. Kiss, marry, kill one of these younger members of no! your No! <gasps> if it doesn't offend anyone, that is. No, I kill anybody. 
Uh, you see, you said the younger members, eh? Because I would have killed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's so mean. Who's gonna take the kills? That's a good joke. That's what I would do. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say Tab. I'd no. say this. I'd say this guy. Mordecai. Mordecai's gonna be like, <laughs> boss, fuck you too. I think he's gonna say that. Uh, I I'll be kissing Jen. Can't say no to that. I'm not one. gonna lie. Jen is hardcore cutie. She is. Although that looks that looks kind of bad in the sense of like, oh god, the boss just goes to the attractive girl. You know what I mean? I know. I expect more technique than I can be learned from the process. <laughs> that just sounds funny. Oh my god, can I please do that? Kill Mark, kill, kissing Markai seems to, to, like holding like to, he'd hold me with or something. Okay, keep this in mind because I feel like what the game's gonna do is gonna be like next one. Okay, who are you gonna marry? Okay, now you're gonna kill. Yeah. yeah. So be careful, man. Uh, okay, kiss I'm gonna, tap, I'm kiss, gonna kiss tap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, dude! Uh, nice trophy, husband. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like if I kill Jen, though, because remember we were, she was the other person. That if you was have anybody, the team, so that could be like. If you have, yeah, if you have anybody that you have a little bit of bad uh, rapport with, do not kill them. Okay, I'm gonna say Jen. Fuck yeah. Uh, I Only unfortunately after we have work. taken out the fruit. <laughs> oh, oh, he looks sad. Oh, <laughs> oh buddy, no, we thought I'm you took the joke, okay? I'm sorry. Fun. Say, Jen, have you told Joseph the story with you uh, and the duck in college? What? Oh, those poor boys. <laughs> Dude, our boy! We're just kidding, man! We're oh. kidding! Oh, no, no. Oh, oh come on. Dude, we're just kidding. This is why you don't play this game at work socials, y'all. Joseph, you jackass. I'm killing you. Just a duck in your college dorm? We had a squirrel. Uh oh. Hey, boss. Before you head home. Oh, he's gonna oh, no. kill us? No. I want to talk to you out here. What if not? Oh, okay. What? Heard about the internal affairs investigation thing you need to deal with tomorrow. Yeah, I don't want to do it. I know this hall guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay, can you give me any information? Oh, though? no. We fucking killed the guy that's gonna get us the information. No! No, but. Okay. I know. I know. I know. I know this hall guy. He's seen him operate before. Rumor is that he's a tough cookie. Okay. And look, I just want to know. Okay. Is there actually any dirt on you? Cut any corners? Did any nasties? No, actually. Not that we're aware of. Just give it straight to me. Um, I don't think we've done anything. The only thing is that re is that report, the last report to the news. That's the only thing. That was a straight up lie. It was. Everything else has been fine, except for that. Yeah. Uh, results come first up in second. Like, I've done some bad things, Morty, but they're on me. But they're on me. No need for you to take any of that load. I've really been doing my best by the book, Morty. It's all clean. I'd say... We have been doing our best to be by the book. Go for it, then. Like, it's, 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 uh, that's the only thing I could say. Okay, I'm with you, then. Uh... I want to say thank yeah, you. Yeah, just say thank Thanks you. Thanks for checking he in. Needs, he needs I a little pat this. in the back. Yeah. Good luck with Hall, but boss, good night. Right. Oh, okay. Thanks, dude. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, no, I'd never... Woohoo! All success. Our popularity went down. Our press like us. went down. But our... Um, the, the institutions in the city... Okay, so we're doing still okay with... What does the, the press... We know what the press wants. They want something that's going to show that we're screwing up like crazy. That's what well, they, they want. Well, they want the juice. They want the dirt. They want the tea. And we're doing well by not, not giving oh, them Oh, see, here we go. What really happened at the plant? What bullshit or lies are they going to... be? All right, police force descended in great numbers, erecting defensive barricades outside of a weapons factory whose workers are given a day off and told not to show their face at work under any circumstance. The veal lifts and we are given, for a brief moment, a glimpse into the dark undertaking of these merchants of death and their ties with the deeply hidden network that controls the police force and the army. Oh my god, they're gonna make us look real bad. They did, yeah. Oh, what could be so pressing that they would risk exploding themselves like this? So they're calling us on it, they think they were lying. What scare these men? of Granite in such a brute force approach. The authorities have refused to make any statements about this event, but no, we made a statement already, fuck you. Uh, by connecting the dots, we can deduce the truth of what really happened. Oh yes, you guys can deduce the truth because you are, oh, you are the Sherlock. I was Here gonna we go. say, 
Here, Here we go. go. All those factories should have been empty. Pictures revealed that a red coupe was parked in the inner courtyard of the quarantine factory. What could this person be? Could it just be a diligent employee coming to work against the explicit orders of his bosses? But how then could this employee get past the police barricades? Red coupe, eh? Our research shows that exactly three of those cars have been purchased in the last year in the Ministry of uh, Foreign Relations. Although these cars were never seen uh, used in any official setting or in our city, it is safe to assume that these cars have been put in disposal of the Ministry of Foreign Relations agents and that they have kept them out of the public spotlight so that these officials can operate without attracting attention, picking up dig dignitaries and businessmen attending meetings. What the fuck? So, okay. That's kind of weird. Uh, but would that red coupe have been owned by King? Yeah, probably. I don't know. Because they talk about dignitaries and stuff. Oh, your HR report is ready. Files declassified. Oh, who who had who had? Uh, oh, uh, Joseph. Joseph is an old veteran by, of the force, having officially retired five years ago. He had a reputation for taking on dangerous assignments, um, surviving during two assassination attempts during his career. Holy Jesus, shit! Jesus, dude. Um, his superiors describe him as a full of initiative, but also impulsive. Okay. Well, I would have to. I think you'd have to be impulsive if you're going to get assassinated too at the same time. Yeah. You, you, there's only so much you can plan. You have to adapt. I don't know. Yeah. The most notable aspect of his detective career is his leadership role during the Burgundy Riots, a period of extreme unrest a decade ago. Information on this case is still classified. The Burgundy Riots were initiated uh, by a group of violent protesters against tax raises by the government. But eventually spiraled to the to encompass many other groups united under an anti-government umbrella. As the protests uh, continued, they eventually escalated to violent clashes with the police, suspecting that certain criminal organizations were infiltrating the protests, inciting the two violence for their own agenda. The government tasked Joseph Ward with obtaining evidence and neutralizing the leadership of the rioters. He and his team successfully indicted over indicted. 20 people indicted sorry over 20 people dismantling several plots targeting the government buildings and also exposing their manipulation attempts to the general public after this support to the of the burgundy riot dropped dramatically and the situation stabilized quickly okay so, so he, basically he was a big deal for bringing this riot down hmm. okay so we declassified some information on tab here oh Psychologist Do uh, Dozier was not included. So wait, which part is class? Not cl this is this is. Okay, I'll read it. A psychologist uh, Dozier is that how you say that? Dossier, Dossier, Dossier was not included. Dossier. In, Dossier was not included in the main file when joining the task force. At the age of twelve, Tab had a nervous breakdown following the death of her pet parrot. Oh, Tab ran away from home, prompting a search. The local police found them on the highway three miles out of town, surrounded by the corpses of two dogs, one squirrel, and the, and the suspected remains of a deer, all quite right likely local carcasses collected along the way. At the time of the discovery, Tab was incoherent, trying to dig graves for the animals with their bare hands on the side of the highway. Whoa, Tab. Okay. In the first year of the New York Bureau, uh, Tab initiated an investigation against Cape Industries and in independently gathering evidence of tax avoidance, improper worker treatment, and unpaid wages. Their involvement was kept secret and they refused to receive credit for the successful prosecution after the investigation was concluded. Their father was forced to pay $1.2 million in fines and was given a suspended sentence of two years in prison. Tab maintains a good personal relationship with their family. Yeah, we knew that. Okay. So, whoa, okay. That was, that's some heavy dirt. Um, as a heads up to that, isn't it kind of weird that the whole thing started with a pet blog? Yeah. That's well, looking a little weird, Tab. Tab could have, oh no, what's this again? Ah, this is good old refreshing evening air, isn't it nice? It is. Say, boss, are you sure we did right by getting Ennis a transfer? Ennis? Who's Ennis? forgot who's in us drasco um he's the driver you know what it was with him though he was a fucking idiot i completely forget who we're talking about right now uh the porn dude oh him 
Because we, because we got him a transfer. Yeah. To what? Uh. What? Did, what? Oh wait, might be able to have useful to. Wait, who? Who was Anas? I don't know. Forget now. One second okay. here. One second. One second. One second. Eh. 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 Yeah, just double check who Drasko is. I kind of, or uh, Anna. Sorry, I kind of don't remember. No, yeah. So many people we investigate. Anna's in interrogation. Who hell are you? Anna's. Anna's. No, Anis? seriously, who is Anna's? No, Anna's interrogation game. Oh my god! More people need to know about this game. It's so good. I don't know who it is. There's like nothing on this. Okay, well, I'll say this. Even if he doesn't have usable intel, at least oh, we have to miss Oh, oh, okay. oh, okay. Who? Who was it? This guy. The first guy. Oh. Fred Ennis. Oh. Uh, well, I'll say this. Even if he doesn't have usable intel, at least we helped him escape Drasko's bullying. No, he doesn't feel good about that. Don't know why the asshole deserves, use any, deserves any saving. Uh. Oh. Because even the smallest nuggets of info from a low-level guy like him could still be valuable. So it's playing on his conscience a bit. Because he's a he's a organized crime investigator, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can see what. But even as an organized crime investigator, dude, you gotta realize sometimes these little soldiers, these idiots, mm -hmm. they do have shit that's valuable. Well, time to go talk to him. Let's get in the car. So why are we talking to Fred? Do I have the right guy in mind? Like, that's what the, okay, we'll whatever. We'll find out in a sec. Yeah, I guess so. No, it's a different guy. Who the hell? Mr. Ennis. Who the hell are you? What the hell? Who's Ennis? Oh my god, I'm so... Oh, wait, wait. Who is Fred Ennis? Oh my god, well, it's this guy. Whatever. I don't remember okay. this guy at all. Whatever. Greetings, Mr. Ennis. Thank you for accepting our offer to relocate you. Do you realize, is, do realize that this offer is legally contingent on your aid in our ongoing investigation into the Liberation Front? No, officer, I would like to thank you. Straight old school kindness and understanding are hard to come by these days. Okay. That's very kind of him. Um, is it true Anton Drasco has been harassing you in prison? Well, yes, he has been pestering me ever since you put him in prison, calling me a snitch and rallying the other inmates against me. Of course porn guy would... My god. Uh... So Anton Drasco is the porn guy? Yeah. Okay. I remember Drasco, believe me. Yeah. Because I had to redo that five times. Um... I guess four times, because three... No, because it was three times... Yeah, three plus one. Yeah, and four times. Uh, yep, that's in line with the report I've received. Do not worry, disciplinary actions will be taken against Mr. Drasco. Uh, oh. What do you say? Um, they yell out, no, please don't do that. He has connections and can get me to me even from a different prison, especially if you do something like that to him. Okay. You take it as proof that I am working for you, and and the last time you got angry, I spent two weeks in the infirmary. Jesus, well, I'm sorry to hear that your wife is at risk. It is sad the current prince in the doesn't manage to prevent such abuses. You shake their head slightly. Yes, another failure in the justice system. Placing criminals together is only a punishment for the least violent of them. It's an environment that just breeds violence and corruption. Ooh. Uh, that is true, actually. Interesting point. Uh, have you been in contact with the Liberation Front since your incarceration? They attempt to gesture, but are stopped by the cuffs. Well, I've been working with some law lawyers during my case who I think the front subsidized. But later, they have disappeared, so not even that. Um, is it common for the Liberation Front to subsidize lawyers for its members? I guess so. For example, I know Anton also worked with them. Oh, okay. Uh, do you happen to know the name of the lawyer? Uh, there were a couple of them, but they seemed to do this on the orders of some senior lawyer or something like that. They always consulted with him on the phone. I think they called him Honest Gabe or something. Weird. Okay. Let's talk about something else. 
Uh, Information, something. I don't really care. Uh, well, how's your cellmate? Cellmate? I don't know. He was a drug dealer from what I gathered. One of those immigrants that came to our country to be in gangs and destroy our youth. We don't speak much. Okay. Well, how are you spending your time these days? Uh, I work in the kitchen doing inventory. It keeps me busy. Uh, but it's mindless and meaningless work. It also comes with minor perks, if you know what I mean. Did you get they better food? <laughs> uh, did you make any friends? Look, officer, I agreed to help you with your investigation. I don't see how this is relevant to that. No, I didn't make any friends. Being called a snitch pretty much ensures that. I'm just keeping things friendly. Okay, well, have you heard about any recent activity? Very little. The prison's uh, administrators don't give us a whole lot of access to the news. Okay. Hmm. I don't want to talk about the past. I want to kind of talk Get about the, the future. Because he's already yeah. feeling bad about the snitch part. He wants... Yeah. Like, I actually feel bad for this guy. Like, what can we do for him at this point? Because he's, he's working with us, right? Yeah, I can see why Mordecai was kind of like... Eh. I don't feel good about this. Why do you think of the Liberation Front now? They... A fight for the real thing. Um, okay, so basically nothing. Uh, do you, giving me more names of Liberation Front members may make a difference in shortening your sentence. Do you have anything for me? I don't have any. Um, I may be the worst snitch ever, but I have nothing. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I am curious, what happened to Muggy after you went to prison? I had to give him away to a shelter. I have no idea what happened oh. to him. I hope he's okay. Oh no. Yeah, this guy sacrificed a lot to be a snitch man. Yeah. Well, what do you plan on doing after you get out? I don't know. I don't really feel like I could go back to being a bureaucrat in a bank. After I experienced the absurdity of our prisons, or prison system, I also don't know if they would hire a convicted criminal, even though I didn't harm anyone. It's not like this makes me any less qualified. That is true. I actually do feel for people, especially for people with minor um, offenses. I don't really have anything else to say to this guy, by the way. I, I wish just... we could help him more, actually. Feel bad. Yeah, because I don't think he was a big top dog, you know? I think he was a run on the ground kind of whatever. Dude. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for your time, everybody. Good day, officer. Oh, man. I feel bad okay. for that guy. That feels kind of shitty. Uh, stay a while and listen. That's what achievement we just got, apparently. Eh. Oh, here we go. Detective, this is Elias Hall, Internal Affairs. Oh, no. Oh, he's got a scar. Greetings. Greetings. You give him a real voice, you know? If you're both ready and in for questioning, go for it. All right, let's go. All right, yeah, I know. Okay. I'm sure you are. See, what? What? I know, they seem like they're in the what? cahoots, don't they? And I know, they seem in cahoots, these two. Okay, so we're on the other side now. This is gonna be so weird. You gotta help me, mate. You gotta help me. I'm, uh -oh. I'm here, man. I'm here. I'm uh -oh. here. You are the subject of an interrogation. You need to avoid giving out answers that directly incriminate you and cause you to get suspended from your position with the task force. Ooh. Okay. Avoid raising this level of suspicion through your answers to prevent being tortured for ah! They can torture me! Avoid getting angering your interrogator to prevent being tortured for a ah! Yeah, but it makes sense. You have to watch their movements too, right? You have to. True. It's a chess game. You have information that they want, and you have to. And you, you know, and the more information you give him, the more they have power over you. And but you, it's like a, it's like a deal. You have to make a deal. You got to give him a little bit. They can't give him too much. Andy Calza can't put yourself in a position that's going to make him want to kick your ass. True. True. They look blankly at you. Do you understand why I'm here? I uh, don't actually. My team's been performing adequately in all our attacks. So that's what I want to say, but I can't. Uh, why not? So, actually, I'm a little confused why the guy it actually is bothering us. Is uh, it some internal affairs bullshit keeping me away from important business I expect, ethical concerns I expect. My team and I navigate a perilous sea in that sense. Ooh. Yeah, but you. So cause the bottom one is you kind of opening up. Because what he's doing, he's. So he's got the power play, right? He's yeah. asking the questions. Right. Questions are the power in a conversation, because he's trying to see where the question to lead, lead you to say it by yourself. Right. So the less you give him, the more you're in equal power with him. The more you okay. give him, the more he has power. 
Well, I'm gonna go with number th one because I actually don't. What really... would bother you if you're integrating yourself? What would bother you? Uh, yeah. being bland. Yeah, like like He's when being bland. I get, they look at you blankly. That's what you're I doing. get frustrated when the guys are bland with me when I'm interrogating them. Yeah, I say guys, but I use as them. How do you know? You can raise your eyebrow all you want. So you're confident your department and its behavior have reached haven't reached any protocols. I would say yeah, yeah, I am. Yes, yeah. we haven't done anything bad. Very well then. Let's see how this goes. They lower the glasses to focus on your reactions as they ask the question. Before we dive into the issues, are there any ethics breaches you'd like to declare yourself? Ooh. I know giving up bueno vice ignored procedures, but I maintain that it was worth it. What? Oh, I'm running a clean operation. Of course you are. They exhale sharply, raising an eyebrow. Okay, so we're gonna be careful. He's getting a little mad. How would you describe your leadership style? Uh, we're definitely no. We have history of being a good boss. Yes. I say, my agents, abundant space. Uh, perhaps a bit more. What's wait? What's autocratic versus? Autocratic is like um, almost like uh, you. You're very in control. Yeah. Uh, of the situation, delegative means that you. Oh, delegate. You're just delegating tasks to other yeah. people. Yeah. I like build. the first one because I I don't want to say that I give my uh, agents abundant space because if you're saying that, that's kind of like I just let them run around and do whatever they feel good. Like there is a sense of hierarchy, I believe. Yeah, there is. Yep. No, we, um, are, we are telling them where to go and stuff like that. Uh, but but it's not. not but no. it's not. Yeah, it's not dictatorship around here. Yeah, you're not solely. So you must then accept full responsibility for all the department's actions and outcomes. Well, that's kind of comes with the job, sure. Yeah, but no vice has gotten away as direct as a direct consequence of your actions. <laughs> we see the factory, didn't we? With pleasure, no need to thank us. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I took out a risk. Because... I, I, the middle one's interesting because you're challenging him. I know you're like, I don't want to piss him off, but it's kind of like going like, you're missing some of the points of what I've done, though, too. Yeah. Like... Because that's the thing, right? He's trying to make you look really bad, like you're just doing this for your own gains. You're, you know, you're a, what, what's it called? A, um, a corrupt police force. That's what he's trying to do, right? That's what he's trying to do, right? Am I wrong? Yeah, but you also have to give and take. You have to, because this yeah, is still your I know your that, boss. but I know that, but like, that's what I'm saying. Like, he's not looking at what we've done at all, right? True. You gotta keep reminding them what we've done, what we've done. All the other people that we've interrogated always redirect you to that. I just You're, don't like the way it's worded. If we had said something like, I took a calculated risk and it was wrong, but we were able to save the, the factory, and that's on me, like if you could combine these two, it would be better. It would be a The way bottom one say. is saying it's my fault. The yeah. bottom one is saying, I, you win. You're giving okay. him something by saying the bottom one. No, it's, I'm not saying you don't have to say it. I'm just saying that's yeah. what that is. Just be aware of that. Was it your actual intent to help Bueno Weiss escape? So now, see? Uh, oh, now you're taking, so now you're taking ownership of the mistake. No. Uh, I was sure we'd get Weiss before King managed to tip him off. Okay. Yet he managed right from under your nose. So it's either like you chose to let him go or you made a mistake. Yeah. So he's trying to pick up which one is it. It was a mistake. It was kind of a calculated mistake, though. I don't even remember I, these people. Who's been a white vice? He's the guy they've been trying to track down. Jennifer, actually, I've been assigning to track him down. Mm-hmm. And she just kept coming up blank, blank, blank. He was out of the country, out of the jurisdiction, out of this, out of that. He was always somewhere where we couldn't get him. He was always untouchable. He kept ducking, basically, indictment the entire time. He was a ducking, Bob Boss. Why is it that you believe Daniel Wilson to be Liberation Front? Daniel Wilson? He admitted to being Liberation Front. Uh, yeah, he was manipulated into planting bombs that would have hurt innocents. That makes him a terrorist. It's really simple stuff. Thank you for explaining it then. Well, seriously though, my dude. You're training, you're trained in profiling. Why is that you can't give us a set profile to easily, to more easily find Liberation Front members? Uh, it's because they have separate wings with different ideologies and structures, so a single profile can't apply. That is true. Uh, well you, well, you lack that very same training and so it'd be very hard for you to know. Uh, their strategy specifically is to address different blankets of society, like in a matrix approach. That means several profiles, which we are only now beginning to understand fully. I think it's this one. It's a matrix. It's complex. 
Yeah, yeah. it's not that simple. Because that is yeah. the truth. That's why it's been hard. So it's either one or three. I think I think three gives a little bit more justification, though, than yeah, the first one. Yeah, I agree. Because you're, you're saying it's not that simple, man. Yeah. You can look us all you want, man, yeah, but that's the you. truth. Why is it that you believe Alex Novak not to be a liberation fund? Who's Alex uh, again? I'm trying to remember Alex, the people. Alex was the one that was with Gabe. The priest. Um, oh. He, he had some psychological... Um, oh, yeah, this is the... Um, the guy with, um... He has schizophrenia. That's right. He was just, yeah, he was just there, man. Like... Yeah. Like, there's no evidence of wrongdoings means he's innocent. Oh, wait. Um, fell disturbed. Whatever he did, he can't be held responsible for his action. Uh, because the priest did it, and the crazy had nothing to do with it. It's all in our reports if you bother reading them. I agree. I, I would either... I think it's this one. There's no evidence of wrongdoings means he's innocent. We can't just jail people for association. My department's by the book. Nice. Or, yeah, I think I'm going to say that one. We can, though, if we be complete enough to prove conspiracy. What? Why did you offer Fred Ennis support with his transfer? Uh, because we wanted to coax him into helping us, evidently, because I evaluated it would be no risk to society if he was transferred. Coax him. Yeah. Strange, you already knew he wasn't a high-level member at the front. But we're trying to get more people wrangled up here, bro. We need to find who the next person up is, yeah. though. You go from bottom to top, right? Yeah. To figure it out. Yeah. Let's talk about your management of this operation. I think you got- I think we're doing pretty good for management. I'm pretty sure we've been talking all about it so far, but okay. <laughs> uh, cert just say certainly. Sure. Yeah. If you want yeah, to. Whatever. Not bothering us, sir. You've alienated and demotivated your agents on occasion. Any comments on that? Oh, what I would my so I don't oh, know what whoa. I don't oh, well, before yeah, the yeah, before yeah. We the game says I my response would be like I I would you mind sharing what you're talking about? Yeah, because I'm actually kind of confused. By I don't that know statement. what I don't know what you mean. Who you what are you talking about? Yeah, merely drive them to their best for the team for the be his best. That sometimes means make no. Well, being on the team takes a toll. It ain't for the week. If you can't take the heat, get off the kitchen. I just say no, no comment. And it looks like you're hiding, but there's no comment to be made. Yeah. Very well. There's no comment to be made. It's just the way you some. I hate to say it. Sometimes people so, are so, better someone, at certain things So wait a minute. Does that too. mean someone's reported to them that we're being abusive in power? Is that what this is? Maybe. We don't know. Would you it be Mordecai? Because he's approached us twice during this, but I don't, I don't believe he's. Shit. This is very fascinating. Yeah, I think it's interesting. Is, I think this is Mr. Anderson, Mr. Anderson, Mr. Anderson, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> that started the shit. The chief there. I think he's the one that started the shit. I think you're he's right. A Liberation Front member. Because I, I bet you anything. Yeah, I bet you he's Liberation Front member. He tried and he's to sending throw this guy on Tab this. under the fucking bus last episode. Fuck you. And Tab had nothing to do with anything. Tab had nothing to do with anything. The fact that they were just there doing a protocol. He seems to know a lot about what they advocate and in very specific ideological terms. Okay, man, you're right. If you looked at the notes, we're investigating them. Okay. Do you have any have contact with Liberty Front off the books? No, we don't. Everything's been on the books. We've never turned off the uh the tape recorder. We've never done that. Yeah. Um, no, I just understand their points of view very well. No. It's my job, boss, for officer, understand them just as it's yours to know you're wasting a good cop's valuable time what you want to say. Of course not. All my research and stay of their ideology is well documented. That is true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is. You spend department money on public relations assistance. Uh-huh. What well, justifies an expenditure? Ooh. Because we need PR? Uh, well, needing it, PR assistance is what justifies p spending on PR assistance. Uh, getting the bullshit press off our ass is not. Which front has the resources to make us look like an enemy, and that needs to be countered. That is true. That, that was is, that was actually move. the justification. See, Eni literally just said, "I see." Okay, yeah. they nod. He nodded at that. How do you feel about the need to talk to the press? So here, I got a, I got a question for you. Yeah. There's two ways of doing this. There's telling the truth. Yeah. And just being truth, like just being as raw to the truth as much as you can. Yeah. But there's also the tactic of just trying to convince him. There's mm -hmm. two ways of doing this, right? What are we doing? Are we, are we talking the truth route? I think we're just we, doing the truth route. Because we don't really have anything to hide. I'm the, treating you know, this like an audit thing, at work. I'm like, yeah, this is the facts. I think the only thing I'm seeing, mean. yeah, I think the only thing I'm seeing that I'd say that we lied was on the press. Mm -hmm. That last time. Because the fucking chief was like, yo, 
I'm being super honest. And I was like, okay. There's also the fact that we threw Tab under the bus, which is, I think, what he was getting at with that. You've alienated people in your group. It's like, but we kind of had to. The fact that we they said had... we'd kiss Tab. No, but just that's I like know. a personal thing, right? Like personally, we have nothing against Tab, but in that moment, professionally. They were there in a moment that we seemed had to, a little though. bit sketchy, right? Like, so we had to investigate that. Uh, so my response to interrogator here is like, okay, if that's what it is, let's open that up. Well, then why'd you do that? Because because they actually had, ev there was evidence that they could have been involved and we had to address that because that's our fucking job. So yeah, let's we move have on. To next question, please. Yeah. You know, uh, how do you feel about the need to talk to the press? I understand it's necessity. Yeah. It's just, it's part of the job. Unfortunately, so you're really convinced um, your operation and the team are the good guys in all of this. I, yeah, I'm gonna say this one. I don't think of it in those terms. I'm merely doing my job. Yeah, nicely done. Because he's trying to paint a picture of who you are. Yeah. You just keep going back to the books. I want you to understand that all of this is taking place so as to establish you're not doing more harm than good to this operation. Oh, so you need to stop the fucking evasion and bullshit. Oh no. Please don't beat me. <laughs> uh, I'm not giving you mm -hmm. nearly evasion nor bullshit. I am fully cooperating. I'd say the top so far. Yeah. We are cooperating. We'll see. Kufos, Drasco, Bailey, Adams, Higgs. All of these liberation fronters opened up to you. Why? Like, like you, I also, I, I'm also quite good at what I do. Yeah, I agree. Such a smug shit you are. <sighs> I pissed him off. Oops. Ah! No! Ow! Ah! Ow! They yell while grasping your collar. Enough. Are you close to Liberation Front or not? Uh, no, man. Only for the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm to this. Ironically, you're making light of several procedure and ethical standards right now. Get your hands off of Nicely me, bitch. Nicely put. They bark you. Oh, really? That's what's fucking preoccupying you right now? Yeah, it is, bitch. Touch me again. Do you find it acceptable that you've psychologically tortured, tormented several of these suspects on tape? What? What? No, I truly regret. What? Wait, whoa. Oh, I guess psychologically tortured because we've gotten their heart rate up and we've kind of played some games with them. And we kind of did put yeah. the, we did push the uh, the one guy that had schizophrenia, what is kind of fucked up. Yeah, I, I actually regret that. I, I'm going to say that. I do regret that deeply. Some of the people you've intimidated and manipulated were innocent. Why did they deserve to be treated so? Ooh. Because that's the thing, Liberation Front is putting t random people in the cause, right? Yeah. So we have to kind of look at everybody. It's a problem. They'll yeah, be I think I think it's this one. We don't know they weren't Liberation Front. We just weren't able to prove it. So we didn't, that when they come in, when they walk in, we're just like, okay, we need to prove that one of y'all is Liberation Front. So mm -hmm. this is how we got to do it. Mm -hmm. So we, we're getting to the evidence. Don't bitch at me, bro. You were way too sympathetic to their point of view in so many of these interrogations. When did you become a fan of their ideology? I literally, I started this episode like going like, I agree with them. And now this guy's going like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I don't agree with the way what they're doing. It's no. my job to trick them. I have to appear sympathetic, asshole. Oh! oh. You're working with them, or at least you hope you were. Admit it. Uh, you're sorry. You need, uh, oh, if I was, sorry, you need to be urgently fired. Oh, if I was, I'd have you taken out for thing tomorrow. Stop this, please. Um, I just say stop this, please. Yeah, stop Don't this, give him please. anything. Not. I will. I will not be fooled. Be the fool that allowed liberation to flourish as a cancer to spread by the incompetent and traitorous idiot who refused to end them. Mr. Hall, you need. I need you to calm down. I'm not one of your fucking suspects. This is my ride. Tell me this, are you ready to die for the cause of ending these monsters? What the hell? So just call him on it, just, you know, like you've been given the right answer so far, um, cause he's just, he's losing it, you're not. Yeah. He wants you to lose it, that's why he's doing this, right? But what's happening right now is it's the opposite's happening, he's losing it. Yeah. I mean, it's like that makes him look bad, not us, so it's fine. As long as he doesn't kill us. I'm afraid Liberation Front will win the clash of ideas, there is, um, my, li my life for thousands of lives would have otherwise lost is more okay. No, I'm not a fanatic like you, like they are. We can't just be their mirror image. I agree with that, but I think he wants me to, to, to well, no, say wait, yes. Well, no, wait, why wouldn't the top one work? 
Are you ready to die for the cause, Vinny? Uh, because I think this bitch is ready to die for the cause. Oh, I see what you mean, because you have to, like... Yeah. yeah, but you don't need to say that. To get him off my back, I do. You sure? I'm it's not, not the... about telling the truth right now. He's being aggressive with us, dude. Yeah, I know he is, but, like, I don't know if making up shit is going to help us either, because he wants us to say something he wants to okay. hear. Well, I'm not going to act like they are. We can't all be their mirror image. Well, let's see where you stand, then. What do you even stand for in all of this, ultimately? You stand for our order or for destructive ideological values. Ooh, it's interesting. Uh, you'd be lucky for me to be Liberation Front. They have principles much less uh, likely to kill you than an angry cop. Ultimately, I stand for equity. Just doing my job here, man. Step off. Ultimately, I... Well, this is true, but... The more you give him, the more he's getting to use. Because he's trying to profile you right now. Yeah. So the problem is, like, you can... I guess at the end of the day, he's going to profile you no matter what. So yeah. it's like, oh, how do you want this profile to look? Equity is good? How can you go wrong with equity? Although, if you can skew it, though. Yeah, he can skew it. I think or I might you don't just say, say anything. I think I just might say, I'm doing my job here. Step off. You might get aggressive. I don't know. I, I kind of agree with you. Just go for it. Yeah. He's going to bitch slap me again. I'm still not convinced you're innocent. I'm not convinced. What the fuck?! He oh. pulled out a motherfucking blade, yo! I'm still not convinced you're innocent. I'm not convinced that you can be in charge of something so big. So maybe the game is saying you have to convince this guy that you're innocent. So we'll have to make sure we go the extra mile and make sure. Is that supposed to scare me? It's people like you that lend the Russian front so much credence about the ab ab abusive nature of the state. Ooh. But then that makes you look like you're yeah. talking for the Liberation Front, so be careful with that. Yeah, I'm gonna say, is that supposed to scare me? I wanna keep you honest. <gasps> you are pinned and the blade cuts painfully <gasps> along the parts of your skin. No. Speak, are you a Liberation Front sympathizer? Uh, no. I'm not. What the fuck?! You are pinned and the blade cuts deeply along the parts of your skin. Are you a member of the Liberation Front? I hope we can fire this guy afterwards. Uh, no, I'm not. This doesn't work. This are is you, literally the worst li uh, thing. Are you Liberation Front leadership? Um, call off your goons. Close close the operation. No. Fucking no. Here, clean up. Gee, thanks. What a gentleman. I'm sorry you had to go through this. I had to be sure. The future is in your hands. Uh-huh. Hmm. Okay, it's already proven though that those tactics don't work. It's actually psychologically, I think, been proven. I get, I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a. I don't work in the police force, but I'm pretty damn sure that that is. It's been proven that that is not a an actual a productive and effective method of getting information from somebody. Because no, it's not. It's it's better to actually treat them with kindness and then mentally uh, trick them. Yeah. So what we're doing basically. Yeah. In the game. They straighten slightly. Hmm. Well. Given all this, I can't say I have any objections to you continuing to lead your operation. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get you so fired. Well, uh, I know. I wouldn't say something like that. I would just if there were, if so if I was working in this business, I don't know what the game allows us to do. I wouldn't say anything to him right here, but I would definitely call up. Just a heads up, this guy uh, fucking cut me with a knife. Yeah. Uh, please get him fired, please. Uh, I'm just gonna be kind. I know you did what you had to do here. I'm glad we could settle all this. I'm glad you understand. Pardon the inconvenience. Best of luck. You are weird, though, man. You are fucking weird. Cleared of charges for now. I don't like that. Uh huh. Well, that was that was weird. That, that was, was a weird. weird experience. That was we we got it, but what? The the problem is with this particular situation that the the game fails to do is when you are getting attacked. Yeah. You're in pain, right? Yeah. So it doesn't do a good job of credibility of how we would give information based in that context because we're a gamer, we're not actually getting hurt. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I feel like... So I don't feel like that really, that I, type of interrogation on us really should have been done because it doesn't really make sense in the context of the game here. Do you know what I'm saying? Because we, because it doesn't matter to us. We're like, ow, oh, we're not. We're still not. We're not in the Liberation Front. No, no, no. No, well, if, if we were getting sliced and diced, we don't know where it's going to go. If there was some kind of consequence, like maybe when we were getting hurt, we had to give up information about Tab, for example. 
Yeah, or something like that. Or something like that, where it would be more of a morally gray choice, where it felt like we were getting hurt. And Because I'm not going to lie, you spend so much time with these characters. You get I'm attached to our team members. I like yeah. our team members. I like going I out with them and drinking. 100% um, agree. So if they had put us against our team members, mm -hmm. I think that would have actually been more hurtful yeah. to the player, because now you're playing on the moral compass of the player. Yeah, exactly. So, just a thought. Anyway. Anyways, guys, I think we're going to call here because we've done quite a bit. But uh, still enjoying the game. It was so interesting being on the other side for once. and getting That to was interesting, yeah. And, and I think seeing there how he did things versus how we do things. I still think we're better. I still think we're better in terms Well, because we followed the fucking books. That's the thing. He was trying to get us on... You know, on the books, right? Because, mm -hmm. but, but you know, like we follow the books. We're pretty good for following the books. I'd say for the most part. Yeah, we even have people like balancing the budget and stuff. Like we've got, always got Tab like balancing the budget. We've got the extra hand now of Joseph. And I put him on making sure we're doing things from the book because he's an old dog, right? Like he knows the, the ins and outs. He can probably do that for us pretty well. And he well, did. Well, that's what we were like. So. That's what we were both like when they mentioned like they're going to look at you or like, for what? We don't even know what the press yeah. thing? The press? Like what? Yeah. That's the press though. Everyone knows that they're gonna skew whatever they oh, do yeah. want many anyways, right? Like Well they they do it for a sale, like what makes the most sensational headline. Exactly. Exactly. Oh man, what an interesting what an interesting part of the game though. I love the fact that we actually got interrogated. That was a cool uh, that still was a really cool it's like a cool twist. It's a cool twist of the game. The game keeps things interesting, it keeps things going. You know you got I, I can't believe it. Like, it's actually a pretty, like, I know we just kind of critiqued, cr criticized it a little bit there, but for the most part, this game is so goddamn well thought through. You yeah. know, all these little things keep coming up of like, you know, you have to deal with all these things. There's no cut clean way of dealing this. There's so many things you have to manage and it's ridiculous when you think about it. And you just got to keep going by your instincts and, you know, like, you know, you just got to keep doing your thing. Yeah. And deal with the, any problems that go along along the way. Like, it, it kind of teaches you that things are going to happen no matter what because of how chaotic in nature the job is. You have to. And I feel like that just applies to a lot of people's jobs, right? Yeah. If you work with people, period, which a lot of people do, you deal with a lot of these types of problems yeah. all the time. Yeah. Right? So it shows you, though, how chaotic in nature the whole job as an investigator leading a, a team can be and how... It's so easy to fall in the cracks, even if you had didn't have male intent going into it or anything like that. It's very fascinating to me. I, I like I like this game. It brings out a lot of interesting truths in what this job I'm gonna guess, because I obviously I've never done this job before, but it brings a lot of truths of what the job is. It's quite interesting. It makes you think. It does make you think. It makes you think before you point a finger at somebody. Well, the the, Which the thing we is do you're need supposed to do more to... of. You're supposed to objectively look at the evidence and then create a story that has the, you know, the, the least amount of holes that can be poked in it, right? So you, you have to leave very yeah. little room for doubt. You and hypothesize I think and then you yeah. test it. Yeah. And, and I feel like we're doing a pretty good job of that. Yeah. The scientific method. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. I think we have kind of done a good job of that and playing playing a good management strategy but again like you know the, the the best the funny part about a game like this is it's doing a great job showing things with information how fast information moves yeah but obviously when you're a human being doing this job your emotions come into play with interacting with people and that adds another layer of challenge to yeah. all of it every day yeah it's so uh I, I still think this game is fascinating i think that a lot of people should play this game to get uh, to get to understand this yeah, and by the way, guys, interact. if you're looking, if you're like, oh, you're like, you're watching us play this, and you're like, oh, I, I don't need to play the game because I've seen them do everything. No, you got to play Play it. the game because the way that we've solved the puzzles is one way of doing it. You know that there's like multiple there's ways so to There's so many succeed. ways to do this, yeah. You can beat the sit there and beat the shit out of them. That's yeah. And that's how you get the information. And you might even get more information that way. Lord knows. I don't know. I've been playing the pacifist card because i feel like i want to do this not dirty i want to do this like a What's, good yeah, if we went in and we're trying to be the good cop as much as possible how how can we be successful doing that that's yeah. the hardest way yeah that's the hardest the high ground but it's the the high path but yeah and it, it does make the game harder because it's more of a puzzle like how do you get the people to finally relent i yeah. had to go in circles a bit like at the beginning of this episode like okay we lost. so we've got a method but now we need a motive how do we get them to spill the motive Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's really good. 
It's really interesting. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. I know. I, I, I'm I'm talky talky too because yeah. I just it, it it creates so much conversation, right? It's a yeah. good so much good dialogue that comes out of this game. It's definitely worth the fucking play. Like I really think this is a really forward thinking game. But anyways, guys, we will see you in the next interrogation. Bye bye. Bye bye. I read when I saw the scar, I was like, oh god. When you pulled out the knife, though, I was like, dude! I was, cause I, when he stood up, I was like, okay, this is either concluded or he's gonna start beating the shit out of us. Then he started slapping us around. This guy would be so screwed, though, if when it comes to an ethics board. Yeah. Well, not necessarily, I guess, right? Cause it'd be our word against his, and he's higher up in the chain. Yeah, well, he seems like he's... But they... Okay, we... He, what I think we should have pegged on him is that he doesn't have the background we do. We our character has a profiling background, right? Yeah. And we've built our character up to be that way, so yes. we could have even thrown that in his face. Basically.